All right, guys, now that you've worked your way through the uh, welcome, the start here tutorial, we want to go ahead and come over and come into the second panel here, which says either New Puppet in Photoshop or New Puppet in Illustrator. You really can choose either, um, and either is a pretty effective way to build it. Um, I've gone through both, and it's really almost a personal preference, but at this point, I would like for you to choose New Puppet and Illustrator. And uh, we'll work through that. If you really want to go back and try it again in Photoshop, that's fine. You can do that. I think you'll just have a little bit more success working in Illustrator. At least I had more success um, with what we want to accomplish working in Illustrator. So you can go ahead and click on that. And when you do that, you'll see then that it brings up this character in Illustrator. What I want you to do is I want you to just uh, spend a minute just kind of looking over um, the character. You can see um, how he is set up here. Um, and really the main things that we want to consider are actually over here in our layers panel. So I had mine layers open already. If yours were not, you should have this panel here uh, called layers. Um, again, I'm in the essentials um, layouts here and then layers and this is really what I want you to notice is this section over here so this was one that was built by Adobe and so within here they've got the let me see if I can zoom into it a little bit here Maybe not. Oops. they've got the um, the head here and then under that the head They've got the origin. Now the origin is this dot here, and we'll kind of look into how to do that. Um, that's There's a couple ways we can go about doing that. Um, but that's just really a pivot point. So when you move your head from side to side, that's the point that it's going to pivot on. They've got the right eye, um, or sorry, that's the right eyebrow, rather. The right eye, which within the right eye, there's um, right blink. So what it looks like when he blinks, the right eye pupil, and then the right eye, just the shape of the eye itself. So there's a couple of things within the eye shape there. You got the left eyebrow, the left eye, the nose, the mouth. And the mouth is really interesting because the mouth actually has um, about 13 different um, layers within it. So just the neutral, which is what you see now smile, the surprise face, but then it also has um, all these different other layers for each shape that the mouth makes when it makes each of these sounds. And so it actually uses the um, a speech recognition um, software to determine this um, sound that you're saying to match the words and the, the sound with the shape of the mouth to make it actually look like it's moving. So that's pretty cool. Um, then they've got kind of the rest of the face and uh, the shape of the head and such, and then the hair um, included on that layer. And then the body's kind of its own layer. So the body's this whole section here. And, and within the body, there's like the right arm, right hand, left arm, left hand, um, the shirt, etc. They've got a number of things in here, the legs, okay? So that's all that. So spend a little bit of time with that. And then they've got the chest and uh, the draggable right and left foot and then the fixed right and left foot. Again, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but you can see where these X's are. That's what they've got uh, with that then as well. Okay. Now, once you, uh, you can actually take this one and you can save it. So if you come up and you hit save as, give it a name. It's currently called my Illustrator Puppet. Dot AI and that's fine you can leave it at that um, just again choose the where make sure you know where that is right now it's in character media again that's fine if you want to keep it there and it may have already put it in but if not then you should um, you may see this where it says scene and then my illustrator puppet so now this character that they've added in here as I go back to my character, it now follows. If you don't have this, um, when you're on, uh, 
let's see. If you're on this where it says my Illustrator puppet over here on the side, um, if you have that one, you can hit add to new scene and then that should give you this guy over here if it didn't already. Okay, so now you can see a few things. He moves with me, his head, as I move my head. Um, one of the cool things that we can do too, I'm gonna zoom into him a little bit so that we can get a little bit better view. Oh, maybe not so much, maybe that's good. They actually made it so that I can click on his hand and I can make him kind of wave. Um, and so those are all some things that they've put in place here already. So if I click on this one over here, it looks like this, uh, almost like a little chess piece here. That gives me this view where I now have a lot of different things that I, I am putting in place and that I'm doing with this, right? So I've got uh, within like the right eye, and if I click on the right blink, which is the shape that we did, you see over here, then it has this selected to say, this is actually blink means do that over there. The right pupil, it has selected on the face there as well. Same with the right eyeball. And those are our true for each of those then as well. On the, um, on the body, we've got like the right hand and the right arm, um, et cetera. And one of the things that they've done is they have added in these uh, dragger tool and they've put it on there that allows you to actually be able to um, create the motion of that then as well. Right? So just take a little bit of time to kind of go through and just kind of look at this, um, how they've created this, kind of explore within each of these, just so that you can begin to kind of get a, a feel for how they've gone about creating this. And that's gonna really give a lot of um, help as we go to create our own then as well, okay? Um, and we'll kind of get into what that is gonna look like then.